Yeah, I'm Professor Ransom. I'm just coming from the uh, uh, freshman's uh, welcome party. You can see here in, in the Lichthof, which is the main um, audience room, we can say, for our castle. Uh, because here we, we can handle more than 1,000 people. And uh, I'm a chemist, and as a chemist here, I can do lots of things in this beautiful university named after Leibniz. And uh, as a chemist, we produce materials here. These materials can be used, for instance, for energy conversion. And I did just show some practical examples for energy conversions, like uh, from Aikido and uh, Taito Ryu. I have a black belt in both of these uh, martial art directions. And uh, we did show some conversion from chemical energy to mechanical energy and uh, various other ways. And such kind of materials are very important to change the world. Yeah, will you give us some more detail, or should, well, uh, should it be okay. a surprise? I was uh, <laughs> no. Uh, um, let me explain it. Um, it's a um, it's a very simple thing. It's just a gas. It's our atmosphere actually, and uh, the atmosphere is changing when uh, we uh, have different composition. Every chemist knows that the energy is changing when you change the composition, but. Uh, most of the people are not aware of that. So, for instance, if you have like um, dry air and wet air, most of the people really, when I ask this at the beginning of my class for the freshman course, uh, what they believe uh, is wet air or dry air more, well, heavier, you know? And most of the people think the wet air is heavier than the dry air, and it's wrong. And why is it wrong? Because uh, we used to think in terms of solid or liquid f states. And then when you have my shirt, for instance, the shirt with water is, of course, heavier than the dry shirt. But in the atmosphere, a wet atmosphere is substitution of a heavy nitrogen or carbon dioxide or O2 molecule by a light. H2O molecule and um, so it's just the other way around of our expectation and that actually leads to less mass leads to mass times gravity is a force force on an area per area is a pressure and that leads to because of lower mass lower force leads to lower pressure that's why we have low pressure areas when the weather is getting bad and we expect some rain because there is water. On the other hand, the dry air increases the pressure. So you may end up with uh, some headache. Yeah, if it's nice, sunny and shiny. So, and this is really just the other way around of our expectation and uh, the description of uh, uh, a gas is, is, uh, is done with the general gas law. And this is just nothing else than a manifestation of energy conversion. P times V is uh, work, and, and then the R times T is the thermal energy. So you balance these two things, and you end up with that result I just explained. Okay, and therefore there are 12 questions, 12 answers, and then you um, yeah, had answered the task of the week, um, the first um, of the live session number five, um, and therefore there are two more uh, questions from the, oh, no, there are maybe three um, uh, in the chat, and the first one, um, just let me switch to it, is, um, may I know what will the effect, uh, efficiency um, of solar cells in Mars rover? 
Oh, the efficiency. The efficiency. Oh, thank oh, you very this much. Is, this is an. This is an. This is an. Thank you very much for this nice question. Actually, this mission was scheduled for three months on the Mars. Because the dust, there's a lot of dust, there's no rain. We have 10 millibars on the surface of Mars. On Earth, we have 1,000. And these 10 millibars, you need, you need, uh, well, well, it's, it's, the problem there is this dust covering our solar panels. And if there is no light penetrating, then there is no electricity produced. So we expect it to die within three months because the robot will simply not get any food anymore so and light is his food and luckily uh, we had support by something we were afraid of some dust devils dust devils they can create some lightnings and these lightnings can melt rocks uh, temperatures above 1000 degrees are possible so if they hit the rover the rover would likely die but instead of killing the rover, this kind of dust devils cleaned the rover. So we had to rename them as cleaning events. And now imagine three months. This mission started in 2004 and is still running more than 90 months. Yeah, we're 10 years on Mars now. This is, this is incredible uh, because all these beautiful cleaning events helped us to survive. So, so they, after the cleaning event, we had uh, the efficiency going up again and, and could uh, charge our batteries, our lithium-ion batteries again. And that was really uh, outstanding. You know? okay. Without that, we would, we, we would have no uh, mass exploration rover mission anymore.